good morning y'all it is a gorgeous morning this morning after the uh, storm blew through at Camp Semper K9 I'm out here at the Semper Fresh Garden this morning gonna get some um, work done I have been slacking in my gardening tasks <laughs> I've only been out in the mornings I have not been out in the evening times tonight I have to come out and do some work. I can't stay as long as I want to this morning because I'm registering Mr. Abram for kindergarten today. Well, I mean, he's already registered, but I just got to finalize all his paperwork in person. <laughs> so, um, can't stay too long this morning, but I'll be back out this evening. We're all going to come out, I think, and maybe grill out or something like that and um, get some work done in this garden. So, let's get in there, y'all. Okay, I'm finally... Well, thank you for interrupting me. I'm finally getting enough produce to share um, with everyone, so I'm kind of excited about that. Um, we'll be making a post in our in our Team Simper Canine group and our volunteer and staff group today, um, letting them know that I've got some produce for them to come and get. So that is exciting. I love sharing. We haven't really had enough to share. I've barely had enough to make like a full serving of beans or if, oh something's been scratching in here or a full serving of anything really so i'm excited that i'm about to be able to share same with the chicken eggs they are now um the younger hens are starting to finally produce man you're always making that noise what's your deal huh this one right here what's your deal anyway so um oh looky here too a little pumpkin bloom um, again, I, I love sharing and I'm just excited to be able to share with, uh, everyone. By the way, it is, um, only 68 degrees this morning. It feels amazing out here. I almost need a hoodie, um, with my anemia. It's almost kind of cold. And look who is inside this. I've got to figure something out on these cucumber beetles. They are driving me nuts we do have a new sunflower though isn't it beautiful and i see that my other big one over here has popped out as well this one is almost ready and i've got to pick up those ones that were pulled over in the storm yesterday so i'm gonna to try to get to that this morning too but that might have to be something for this afternoon when i have a little bit more help got some lemon cucumbers to harvest not going to make the mistake of doing what I did last time and pulling them out from this side. So, um, going to harvest those on the other side of the fence. Pretty much all of my zinnias have bloomed in this front garden, the little, the, the kids' garden that we dubbed it. This one's just gone wild and hanging over. And our sunflowers are about to bloom on this side too. So, um, oh, look at this little guy. It's about to bloom too. Little dwarf. Um, sunflower and these beans just got ate up too but I mean it's late in the season we're in August right now look at all the new pumpkin blooms y'all and I got a lot of uh, squash blossoms coming out our corn's looking a little rough this is what happened last year I mean may need to reevaluate our corn game for next year if we even want to grow the corn. I know Chris definitely wants to grow the corn. Something's been in here. Possibly raccoons. Um, we'd never caught the raccoon. Oh, look what Mr. Beatty did last night. Bless him. Anyway, we never caught the raccoons. Um, that were trying to get into the chicken coop. They've just kind of stayed away thought those uh chickens had a snake over there um must just be some worms or something um but we haven't seen them on any of the trail cams but um you know i also haven't been looking really hard but something has definitely been in here rooting around so i need to make sure i have that thing turned on and check and see what's in here uh trying to damage my stuff and I guess he's just decided he's going to let this stay. Um, that's fine with me. I need to uh, get in here and, and uh, 
get some of the um, squash bugs out of here and I need to get in here and see what other spots if any are getting damaged by other pests because that's kind of um, been part of the issue here is I don't know what other pests are in here if there are any others it may just be squash bugs we've got lots of bumblebee pollinators in this garden this year which is fabulous last year we did not have quite as many dang cucumber beetle this guy is just loaded with pollen look at him they are just happy as can be with these pumpkin blooms and um that pumpkin is getting so big that one is almost ready to harvest over there right there um we've got another pumpkin coming here and this limb is already taking root so if he doesn't want it here we need to get it moved before it dies because it's taking root i mean we could totally leave it i'm okay with that too this area is just wild looking i do have some weeds i got to get out of here too and i'm gonna go ahead and pull those big okra and um, save the seeds for um next year and here's a bloom coming out on one of the other weeby little pumpkins and my plan is to run it up over this trellis here um and have some cute little pumpkins growing up there i'm probably going to have to take care of these sunflowers this morning i don't know if i'll be able to handle leaving them but that would look really cool right there if it bloomed if it's not dead and it's not really hurting anything so i may just leave it i don't know what do y'all think i'm rolling my watermelon around i don't have them tp'd yet i definitely need to do that so that i don't have to roll them as much but i'm just making sure that i rotate them so that the bottoms don't get rotten lots and lots of pollinators i may just let this go and see what happens in here there's two sunflowers as long as the other one let me see if i can get over here and look as long as the other one's pointed upward where it can get the sun it needs they may be okay there i don't know And we gotta get in here and look for more squash bugs. Looking around here to see what kind of um, situation some of these are in. There's a little watermelon here. Look at that little guy. And my Kajari melon has found its way over here, so that's good. Um, uh-oh don't want to pull up good grief don't want to pull up a whole plant just from pulling up a weed what is this i don't know what that goes to oh it's a sunflower well these guys are just looking wild and waterlogged after the uh, storm so um don't know what i need to do here if anything I mean they're just all spread out there is a lot of weeds in here so i'm gonna take care of that this evening as well uh oh i just snapped this cucumber i mean cucumber cantaloupe vine i need to get it up here on the trellis i actually probably need a better trellis here because these are getting heavy What is on them? Okay. Just making sure. They're starting to harden. I guess that's normal. I mean, I've never grown cantaloupe this far before. So, really excited about it. There's lots of cantaloupe still coming. Hopefully it matures and nothing happens to it. Grief, look how beautiful everything is. Hard to imagine just a couple months ago it was bare and i'm a, i'm thinking that these are ground cherries or something because they're not as big as those tomatillos back there even though they were labeled tomatillo at the farmer's market 
I think they're ground cherries. Because they're not getting any bigger. The lanterns. I'm going to get these cherry tomatoes because I'm going to um, process a batch today. Now, some of these are split. I wish the chickens liked them. Sometimes they'll eat them. Sometimes they look at me like I'm crazy because they want all the good bugs. They want me to bring them some bugs. They don't want the tomatoes. Let's see if they'll eat them. How does this keep getting moved? Unless Mr. Beatty moved it. Pretty sure I had this out in the chicken coop the other day. A couple of them are eating those cherry tomatoes. Those are the good ones, y'all. Y'all need to eat those sun gold. I spy hornworm damage and hornworm poop and a hornworm with parasitic wasps. Let's come check this guy out. So this hornworm will not last too much longer, but I am going to go ahead and get him and give him to the chickens. He has parasitic wasps on his back and they will suck the life out of him. He will not be hurting my uh, garden anymore. Something else has been over here working on my, uh, I'm gonna have to make sure I'm coming out here twice a day, no matter how busy I am, because I gotta get these guys. Got to get them. They're gonna wipe out our plants. If I don't, I don't see them anywhere, but they, these are starting to get leaf spots, so I need to trim these up right now. Let me go get something to put that hornworm in. I'd like to take them home so the kids can see them, so I might do that. I may do that. And the kids can see those wasps, too. Let me go over to the tiny house and get me a cup because I didn't bring anything with me. I got to get all my gear together, y'all. I'm slacking just been so busy trying to get back into the swing of things that um, I keep forgetting to get my gear. Look at that down here. Chris must have pulled that off last night. That was like a footstep of his. Fresh one. Okay, I got him here. I'll just take him back and let the kids see him. Then we'll bring them back, unless Chris wants to send them to the tarantulas. I don't know if he'll want the tarantulas eating those wasps, but um, the chickens will enjoy him. Look at this. Dances with Smurfs. Did not see any more hornworms, even though it looks like there's more damage. I mean, it could just all be from this guy. So, could be. Um, but there's a lot up here. All this here. And then some on this plant here. Fortunately, it, he did not get into any of these tomatoes. These are my German, other German Johnsons. So, looks like the tomatoes are good for now. I do need to do some more staking out here with... Um, with uh, these tomato plants. Some of them are getting way taller than I imagined, which I mean, they're indeterminate, so they're gonna grow. That one's gotta come out tonight. They're gonna grow, which is great, but some of them are just taller than I had the space for. Look at that one blushing over there. Definitely not a pineapple. Almost looks like a pink brandy wine. Could I be so lucky? And again, pretty much every Roma tomato I have has in blossom rot. I'm just at a loss. Don't know. And even though I may not be able to harvest any of this to actually eat, I'm excited that it finally, that my cabbage finally decided to start doing something. I haven't, I've seen some signs of some possibly cabbage looper worms, but I'm not seeing the worms. So I'm not quite sure what's going on with them, but I am excited that I have some okra finally growing over here. Yeah, exciting. Exciting stuff. I've got some peppers growing. These tomatoes are growing wild, and I've got some that split. I mean, that's just gonna happen. 
I've got to get a taller trellis for this tree. I mean, this tree. God. This tomato plant. Everything's looking awesome out here. I did pull one of the bean plants, the Tanya's Pink Pod. I pulled it off of that. It was just ate up and I felt like it just really wasn't doing anything. I might pull that other one too. I just want to talk about this giant zinnia for a minute. It's taller than me, y'all. Taller than me. I think I'm going to wait to do a lot of the major stuff this evening. Because, um... I don't want to get too uh, deep out here and be late for my appointment uh, to register Abram for school this morning. And plus, it'll be easier when all this dries out for me to harvest, especially the beans. Um, the tomatoes are better if they're harvested in the middle of the day. Um, I mean... Chris really liked these dances with Smurfs, the red ones I said. My mom did, too. I, I took some down to her, and she loved them. Oh, look, I think this... I think it may be open, and I just can't see it. See if I can back up far enough. No, it's almost open. Let me see if I can zoom in. Almost open. Almost. And I may have to top some of these tomatoes. Um... Not sure what I want to do with all of them yet. Um, Chris was thinking it's probably close to time to harvest potatoes, but I don't know. I'm not so sure. Because other than the ones that have just died back right here, the other ones are still doing good. So I think we need to wait a little longer. But the, the potatoes are his thing, so I'll let him decide. Got some pretty tomatoes coming over here. And as you can see, there's lots of storm damage just from the wind. Oh, look what else I see right here. Another one. I'll get him in a second. But like I was saying, lots of storm damage from the wind, which could be expected because I didn't really have these guys trellis the way that they should be. Next year, I will still grow my tomatoes close like this because it definitely worked. Um, but I will have them on cattle panel. I would definitely have a better plan for the trellising system. This area was just an afterthought and just a project for me to try. So I learned a lot and that's more valuable than anything, honestly. Y'all, I walked right past this guy too. Literally bumped into him and everything. Are you going home with me too, bug? Okay, so I have all three of them in here that I have found this morning. So they will not be terrorizing my garden anymore we may see if we can put them in the caterpillar uh, tree house the little net that we have the little cat uh, caterpillar butterfly uh, tree house that we have to see if maybe we can grow them into a pupa stage and see if we can hatch them as a moth I know the moth is a great pollinator but it's babies eat my tomatoes. And I got a lot of tomato plants out here, y'all. So I don't want to kill them, but I can turn them into food for something else that we have. Look how beautiful these Arkansas travelers are. Um, they are gorgeous and they're big. Let me put these uh, hornworms down and I'll hold one so you can see how big they are. So here's one, it's a good sized tomato. And I have a couple more down here that are good size that I saw on the, when I was walking the other side. And I was surprised because I hadn't noticed them as big as they are because of where they're located. But this one is um, German Johnson. These are German Johnson and so are these right over here. These fluted ones. Got lots of little tomatoes coming out again these are more like cherry I don't think my labeling's off anyway we got tomatoes y'all don't know what kind they are but that's okay I need to check these okra too see what we got going on over here 
But let me finish up these tomatoes. Do y'all know what this is? This is what a hornworm becomes. So this moth, it's got some something something sphinx moth, but it's also called a Virginia creeper. So that is the hornworm's moth, and she is laying eggs, or will be at some point, on my tomato plants. I don't know what to do with her. Don't really want to kill her or get rid of her or give her to the chickens, so I'll just leave her be, and I'll look around this area for hornworms in a couple weeks, I guess, right? all I can do. I don't want to get rid of her. I know they're good pollinators, but maybe I can just shoo her away. I don't know. So I think I'm about to call it a morning and head back home so I can get ready for my appointment uh, with Abram. But um, I do have some zucchini I know that are about to come out in here. Um, looks like they're all still a little small. I was checking them out the other day. I didn't have any that were anywhere close to ready to harvesting, but you know how they'll surprise you sometimes and just pop up real fast. Y'all, I swear if I ever find a snake in here, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'll ever be able to come back out here. I definitely won't be sticking my hand in any of this stuff. Oh, look at that. I don't have my duct tape because I don't have my gear. We're gonna do some squash bug eliminating tonight. We are coming back tonight, rain or shine, and I have to, us get this trellis a little bit more supported here and then I've got some beans to pick we've got beans in there that I can't get to um, and all in here I do know I need some more um, T posts because I need to use the T posts for my um, my sunflowers some of my tomatoes. I mean, that thing is just massive. And, um, like, tomatilla ground cherries, whatever the hell those things are. And then I'm going to have to do some more supporting on this trellis. I did not expect to get this many cucumber and, I, I mean, cantaloupe. And I also did not expect for it to be, um, this this prolific but it's also very heavy and it's already starting to lean forward i definitely don't want to lose any of those oh looky here this is a um this okra i think is a cow horn that's why it's long and thin like this or maybe this is the silver queen i'll go back and double check this may be silver queen that one's gonna be yummy i may move our strawberries next year too um, that may be something that we do. This evening, I'm also going to plant our uh, peppers. They got to move from the front front stoop there. Right now, I have uh, all my peppers out on the front and my um, house plants. I was letting them get some get some rain rain water on them. There is a pollinator in every bloom occupied. But all of these are male. I don't see any new female flowers. Look at that little guy. Isn't it weird how this same type of um, pumpkin has generated different types of pumpkins? These are all the same pumpkin seeds. I only had one kind of pumpkin except for the fairy tale pumpkins, which are still over there. They're not um, producing flowers yet. And the weeby little pumpkins, but the rest of them are jack-o'-lantern pumpkins. I wonder if I can go ahead and pick that one. I think I might. I'll just try it. Okay, y'all. This is my very first pumpkin I've ever grown completely to orange or yellow or whatever color you want to call this. Don't know if it was ready to pick, but I couldn't wait. I was too excited. My first pumpkin, y'all. All right, y'all, I think I'm gonna call it a morning. Um, I'll be out here later this evening for real this time. I said that yesterday, but um, I was just so exhausted uh, by the end of the day. And I also had uh, my first public event last night. We were honoring the uh, Prince William Living Influential Teens of 2020 last night. So it was our first public event since the pandemic. Um, so I couldn't come out last night. And then uh, Monday night, the storm started coming in. I, Isaiah, Isaiah, however 
I've seen people saying it different ways. My southern accent says Isaiah, but I'm also um, used to used to could speak speak Spanish pretty well. So uh, Isaiah, Isaiah. I, I heard someone say Isaiah. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. It's gone now. But Monday night, I couldn't come out to um, clean things up and get things prepped for the storm because the storm came in. So um, anyway, I'm gonna call it a morning. We'll be back out here later tonight. Picking squash bugs, trellising some of uh, my plants that have fallen over, and I will be finding my gardening bag, wherever the heck it is. It's in the garage somewhere, and I just didn't see it yesterday. But anyway, y'all have a good day. Thanks for joining me this morning, and I will see y'all next time. Bye, y'all.